Daily Dial, Saturday morning. Excited to be, you ready to enjoy this Saturday and Sunday? Sure, why not? 224, indifference. If you like to feel like freedom, just, it's pretty good one today. For, for true master, sitting on the throne, it's no different than sitting on dirt. A true master is indifferent to the ways of society. Ambition, knowledge, and religion are equally uninteresting. Why? Because all these things are in the realm of human definition. We made that up, no one else. Nature never care about those kind of things. We did. The holy person transcends all identity. Therefore, wealth or poverty, good or bad, violence or peace, makes no difference. Dichotomies are no longer valid to such a person. Do you find this hard to believe? Is your yes, is your answer is yes or no? Well, I guess most likely yes. It's hard to believe. Well, the degree that you find this difficult to accept indicates the degree to which you are shackled by dualism. True enlightenment comes from understanding the oneness of all reality. Such a realization leads to a perception that all things are truly equal. A master sees nutrition and disease are the same, life and death are the same, morality and immorality are the same. If you give the master something to eat, they will eat. If they have nothing to eat, they forget that there was ever such an activity. There is no polarity in their lives. Before the last paragraph, I'd like to mention something. I mentioned the shekel, so I just one image popped up. In a psychology, you know, like some story about that. If you put in the small shekel, enough, enough for the small elephant, the baby elephant, not to be escaped. You know what happened? They fully grown up. They still believe the shekel is strong enough for them to escape. So they stay, even though that shekel is a piece of tiny or the grown elephant. Think about that. We ordinary people cannot do this. Well, I'm ordinary people too, but I'm trying at least. We make distinctions, defend ourselves and our territories. We feel safe on the inside, declared boundaries. This is the way we define ourselves. But our identities are also our prisons. Only a master knows the meaning of liberation and has complete freedom. Have you ever feel complete freedom? Free from maybe thinking. Once you start thinking about it, you think about property, possession, ambition, authority, power. That's all thinking. Why? Because we train, we grow, we raise like that. So if you're free from thinking of all those poisonous activities or abstract Maybe you're one step closer to be eternal freedom. Well, it's Saturday, so think about it. Who knows, at least a small moment that you could be free from your burden. Thank you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow on Sunday. Bye.